Hi, this video is here to help you with multiplying and dividing decimal numbers by 10. Before we get started, let's have a quick reminder about place value. The place value of a digit tells us how much that digit is worth in that number. So in 15.86, the 1 has a value of 110, the 5 has a value of 5 ones, the 8 has a value of 8 tenths, and the 6 has a value of 6 hundredths. As we move left across the place value chart, each column is worth 10 times more than the column before. So as the 4 moves across each column, its value becomes 10 times bigger, from 4 thousandths to 4 hundredths to 4 tenths to 4 ones to 4 tens to 4 hundreds to 4 thousands and so on. As we move right across the place value chart, each column is worth 10 times less than the column before. So as the 7 moves across each column, its value becomes 10 times smaller. From 7 thousandths to 7 hundredths to 7 tenths to 7 ones to 7 tenths, 7 hundredths, 7 thousandths and so on. When we multiply a number by 10, we move each digit one place value column to the left. To multiply 26.4 by 10, we move each digit one place value column to the left. The 2 moves from the tens to the hundreds, the 6 moves from the ones to the tens, and the 4 moves from the tenths to the ones. So 26.4 multiplied by 10 is 264. When we divide a number by 10, we move each digit one place value column to the right. To divide 79.3 by 10, we move each digit one place value column to the right. The 7 moves from the tens to the ones, the 9 moves from the ones to the tenths, and the 3 moves from the tenths to the hundredths. So 79.3 divided by 10 is 7.93. Remember, it doesn't matter how many digits a number has. If we multiply a number by 10, we move each digit one place value column to the left. And if we divide a number by 10, we move each digit one place value column to the right. Now it's your turn to have a go. Use a place value chart or draw one on your paper to work out the answers to these calculations. Pause here to work them out. How did you get on? Check your answers carefully and fix any that aren't correct. Now it's time to try this challenge question. Sully says, when you multiply by 10, you just add a zero. When you divide by 10, you just take away a zero. Do you agree with Sully? Give examples to help explain why you agree or disagree. Pause the video now and have a go. Have you got an answer ready? Fantastic. Sully is incorrect. Although the pattern may work for some numbers, it doesn't work for all numbers. For example, 367 multiplied by 10 equals 3670. However, if we apply this to a decimal number, the pattern doesn't work. For example, 54.32 multiplied by 10 does not equal 54.320. The same is true when dividing by 10. For example, 180 divided by 10 equals 18. However, if we apply this to a decimal number, the pattern doesn't work. For example, 85.40 divided by 10 does not equal 85.4. I hope this video has helped you to understand how to multiply and divide decimal numbers by 10. If you're looking for some more math help, we've got lots more videos like this one available on the Twinkle website.